So yeah, I'm James Porter. I'm a JavaScript, Java, Swift, Python, Ruby, whatever developer. Work at a human resources startup. Uh, and I do quite a few hackathons. I think I've done, I must have done between 20 and 30 in the last few years. So can anyone like put their hand in the air if you've done look, at least one hackathon in the last two years, let's say? Five? Ten? OK, I think I've maybe, well, OK, cool. So um, I might be able to say something useful to the people who didn't have their hands in the air, or at least didn't keep them in the air. Uh, so why should you listen to me? I've won one decent cash prize, a few small prizes. I've even used Meteor to win uh, something. Although that was a board game. It wasn't a massive prize, but it was fun. Um, and so anyway, so I'm going to give some tips on how to win. Some of these are somewhat facetious, somewhat serious, but we'll see. So one of my tips would be to use Meteor. Um, of course, at this Meteor hackathon, that you probably have to use Meteor, so it's kind of uh, <laughs> a g given. But but in a more in a more general sense, I highly recommend using some kind of platform as a service, some kind of comprehensive thing. I love uh, Google App Engine of Python, just because it makes it easy. You add users; it's one line of code. You know, si similar features, I guess, to Meteor. Uh, there's other things like you know Heroku or Rails, if you're familiar with that kind of stuff. Make sure it's really easy to deploy. That's you know, it's a bit of a no-brainer, but you know, honestly, it is so easy at hackathons to waste like half the time just setting stuff up. And if you know, you're pretty much screwed in that case. Um, so if you want to win, pay really close attention to the prize categories. Target something closely, probably something that's not so popular, not the cool, fun thing, the thing that's a bit boring that is sponsored by a big corporate enterprise customer that has lots of money for a big prize. Go for that thing. Um, if there's a description, make sure you do that description for that one prize category really, really well. Um, and you should avoid anything with a really complex API and never, ever, ever touch hardware. I, I think this in general but as a software person, but hardware is really just far too hard. Don't go near it. It's too hard. Stick to software. Um, a, a lot of hackathons, it's really all about the demo. Like, at the end of the day, it comes down to two minutes, three minutes, one minute, where you have to pitch your product. And if you give a nice, impressive demo, that you, know, you win. You, you get a good outcome out of that. Um, you need to get everything work. You don't have to get everything like absolutely working. You can fake lots of stuff. It's a kind of proof of concept. You want to convince the judges that you could make it work had you more time. Uh, another key thing here is have one clear, understandable idea. It is so easy to try to combine four or five different things. You have three minutes. You're trying to explain it. And it's like, it's a complete mess. There's nothing clear out of it. Make sure you have one key, understandable idea. And make sure it, it's understandable to the actual judges. Um, so if they're non-techies, you can like, do it in a certain way. If they're techies, you try to impress them the technology. Um, you should figure out the idea and technology in advance. Uh, you might want to practice, prototype, etc. cetera. Um, you should sort out a team in advance. You should not trust new people. You'll meet these new people. They might be rubbish. Stick with the people you know. They'll probably also be rubbish, but you'll know in which ways they'll be rubbish. And you won't trust them with the JavaScript. You know, you'll give them the design stuff or something, because they can, they can do that. Um, Cool. OK, but here's why you probably shouldn't just try to win. Um, it's not worth it. I, I used to be an economist, so you know, I, I tend to think about these things, you know, the expected prize, like the probability of winning, which will be lower than you think it is. You are brilliant, probably, <laughs> but not as brilliant as you probably think you are. Um, <laughs> And uh, so uh, one of the things I want to say, even if you do win it, so I mentioned I won one decent prize. It was, you know, it was a decent amount of cash. It wasn't like life changing or anything. It wasn't you know, maybe year changing. But um, you know, it was a decent amount of cash. But I, I honestly, the hackathon did not really have very much fun. It was like I was working that weekend. And like, you know, I work five days a week. I don't really want to work in the weekend or something. So you know, try to focus on doing stuff that's fun. You should also focus on learning new things. If you want to win, you should stick to something you know really, really well. If you, but if you want to learn new things, you obviously have to pick something new. And I find a hackathon is a great way of like, learning a new technology, because you've got a time box, a window, in which you're doing a project in this thing. You have to try and get it working. It's a great opportunity to learn new things. And meet new people who might be better at that thing than you and teach you things. Um, I find that there's, there's kind of, there are various different kinds of hackathons. Some of them are sponsored by very large, rich companies. These tend to be really competitive and boring and horrible and competitive. Um, I prefer hackathons that are good causes, open source projects. I guess things like Meteor, which is, it is commercial, but it is also open source. They're friendlier. They, you know, we want to do good, fun stuff. Um, and yeah. And, Often, the things that are most useful, like a decent open source contribution or some useful data analysis, is not going to be the flashy thing that wins. So um, I prefer to do something lasting, something that goes on, rather than something that wins. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you.